Hello and welcome to my creation spotlight for the graduation French Bulldog I made for my daughter. I used Primo Sculpey. I mixed white and black together to make the gray for the main part of the Bulldog. Here you can see the finished body. I went ahead and sculpted the entire body over foil, sculpted the legs, added the detail of the toes, and textured the entire body with a toothbrush. That kind of gave it more of a fuzzy texture. I, I do that on animals or creatures that have kind of a short coat and I think it looks really good. And so then this part's all baked. Next I added the fur to the front of the dog. I took white Primo Sculpey and I conditioned it all, you know, for quite a while to make it really, really soft. And then I kind of smoothed it into that indention I made into the dog. And since it was baked, you know, I don't have to worry about ruining any of the details of the body sculpt. And then I took a small tool and kind of, you know, drag it along the white clay to give the illusion of kind of more of a fluffy fur on the front. After the fur was done, I went ahead and built up the neck. Now this section is not baked. The neck and the front fur I left unbaked and then I started working on the head. Here I've started sculpting the head. I took gray clay and sculpted it over a foil ball, added black glass beads, and then started working on the mouth. Here you can see the finished sculpture of the dog with a lot of details added to it. You can also see a small hole on the top of his head. That is where the graduation cap will go, but it's also used to vent any air caught between the foil and the clay so it doesn't create any air bubbles. With the dog's body completely done, I can start working on the graduation cap. Here you can see I'm working on the top of the cap, which I made a one and a half by one and a half inch square. I went ahead and made this section so it would be solid when I attached it to the top of the dog and I didn't have to worry about it drooping during the baking process. Here you can see along with the top of the graduation cap I have a small number 18 and the tassel. Now the tassel has a wire running about three-fourths of the way through it and then out the top of it. And that way I can use the wire to stick through the hole in the top of the cap and run it down through the graduation cap into the dog's head and to give it more stability while it's baking and also make it a little bit stronger as a finished product. All right, after I finished up the graduation cap and baked the graduation French Bulldog, I glued on the number 18 onto the tassel and now you can see the finished product here. I was very happy with how this turned out and I'm kind of looking forward to trying some other different dog breeds just to see what I can come up with. So if you have any requests of what you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see future videos and want to be notified when they're coming out, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday. Thanks for watching and never stop creating. Bye.